I am in my workspace and I need to review my data with a colleague or perhaps provide a detailed review to my manager. I need to export my data to an external file. To do that, I click on my Export button and I get a number of options to pick from. First, review the file name and then pick the view that the data is being pulled from. It's going to default to your current view that is showing, but I can pick any of them in my workspace. Then I have a number of options to set. The first is the file type, either Excel or a text-based format. Starting with the simple text-based format, this exports data with no formatting into a .txt file. You pick your separator. A comma is most common, and you have the option to pick whether you want the file to contain the names or the labels on your measures. The labels are what you see in the UI, so you are typically going to pick that option. Now let's look at the Excel options. There are three format types. The first exports the view exactly as it is displayed in your workspace. Formatted is going to take off your formatting and then apply Excel-based formatting. You will see things like your scale factor on the decimal taken off, and Excel's formatting is applied. I have an example of that here. You can now see what was a negative 2% is showing as a decimal in Excel as I have it formatted. Then we have the option of raw data, which takes off all formatting. It is going to show you all decimal places and it has no comma separators in it. The next option deals with images. You won't have images in MFP, so this option can be skipped. Next, we have the page setup. Portrait or landscape is a standard printer option. You may be interested in the headers and footers if you want to enter in a title or confidentiality statement when printing. I am particular about how many pages print, so I like to choose Fit To and constrain the print size to one page tall and two pages wide. This will automatically scale down the print size when needed. Finally, Print Setup provides more granular print layout options. You can do all of this in Excel. It's nothing different. If you are not an Excel guru, it is here to help you out and do it quicker. When finished, click OK. You'll then have the option to either open the file in Excel or save it for later. Either way, you're up and on your way.